Well, it's a, it's opening. It's just slow, my friends. Please continue to pray for us as we step out to step up and obey God. Amen. Bezalus, Eddie Cheney. This is Pastor Eddie Garrett up here in this cook where I may be a house in, but I still have a mouth. And I just want to tell all them people out there, they better be doing God's work. You know, uh, we're running out of time. You know, I'm I'm tired, Brother Eddie, of trying to pump people to do something for God. Over to God, we ought to have a czar in our hearts to do something for God. You know, uh, so many people today, you know, well, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. Well, the only thing you got to do is just get out there and do it instead of talking about it is do it. Be a doer. You know, uh, we, uh, you know, everybody said, well, I can't do this. I ain't got this to do that. But, you know, uh, we need to go in the name of the Lord and he'll make a way. He'll make a way for us. You know, uh, people just don't want to go to church no more. They don't want to get out and visit no more. I, I give, hey, I, I give, um, the Jehovah Hover Witnesses one thing. They will get out there and knock on the doors and they will, uh, invite people to come to their thing. I'm telling you, Pentecostal, Baptist, uh, Church of Christ, and all them today, they don't want to uh, go and bite nobody. They, they're they going to leave it up to the pastor, do. Well, it's everybody. It's, it's not a one-man show. Over to God, it's everybody's uh, thing. You know, we, we need to work for the kingdom of God, reach other people. We're not no gas station, you know, trying to uh, appease against each other. This is for everybody. Church of Christ, Baptist, Pentecost, I don't care what you are. We we need to pull together instead of pulling apart. So uh, this is Pastor Eddie Garrett up here in this football area. I'm with you, Brother Eddie. I'm tired of the devil, too. I'm tired of the way he's doing people. But the people's going to have to wake up, or they're going to wake up and hail somewhere, and then, then it's going to be too late to say something for the glory of God. This is Eddie Garrett, 931. 310-8700. You got, I mean, if you, you want to talk to me, that's my number. Uh, but you can't come with tonight. You have to call me tomorrow. Make the Lord bless you, brother Eddie. You keep on preaching it. Preach it harder. I thought, I thought the thing we got to do, boy, we're making the devil mad now. Boy, he's stumping man. But you know, that's what we need to do is just preach the gospel and tell the world that Jesus is, com- is soon coming. We better be ready. And we better be out there doing his work. May the Lord bless you. This is Brother Eddie Garrett. Thank you, Brother Eddie, for letting me have this opportunity. Amen, brother. Wow, praise God. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, amen. You're right. We are making the devil matter than hell. We're making the devil's people matter than hell is hot. You see, and right now, if you look in the society, the devil's people is the one in control of the money they think, but they're not. See, what they're in control of is the love of the money. But let me tell you who owns the money. My Heavenly Father. That's who owns it. And they're just holding it for us, see, because when we line up with the Word of God, the floodgates are going to be raised up and the windows of heaven are going to be open, and the men of God will not and have not and do not have to beg for bread. Do you hear me tonight? We speak with the authority of Jesus Christ. Now, I told one the other day, I said, all I need is one millionaire that God would place in my life uh, that would say, brother, we're behind you. Let's go. Let's go around this world preaching this gospel. I'm talking about the truth. I ain't talking about doing it to be seen or heard. I'm talking about reaching the lost. I'm talking about going into the jungles of Africa. I'm talking about going to the streets and the alleys and the crack houses. I'm talking about knocking some doors down in the name of Jesus. I'm talking about it's time to straighten up if we want to go up. It's time to quit trying to dilly-dally around and fill a building up full of people that's coming in. And, oh, we love the Lord, and they're living like hell behind your back anyway. How can I say that? Your fruit tells on you. 
man, I mean, you don't, you, you're so tight, you give a dollar and it about choke you to death. Uh, you hear me? You know I'm telling you the truth. Uh, you think the pastor is going to take the money and go do something with it. So you're going to just sit on him and pout and whine and just, well, you know, I made 200 this week, but I'm only going to give $3. You know, they, there's about 70 people in here. You see, the problem is uh, you're not obeying God for you because if you was, you'd be walking in the joy of the Lord that is unspeakable. You'd be on fire for God. You'd be a doer of the word, not a hearer only. You would be a light like a city that sit on a hill. There'd be people drawn to you, flogged to you, coming around you, wanting to know what happened to you, wanting to know what's wrong with you. Do you hear me? It's the truth. The truth will stand when the world's on fire. It's the truth, and the truth shall set you free. But so many today, so many today, they just want to kind of rabbit punch. You know, we got a lot of men and women of God today. They just want to rabbit punch, you know. They just want to get on TV and just, you know, just punch the devil a little bit and then run off somewhere and hide. You don't see them on the street preaching the gospel. You don't see them under the bridges. You don't see them in the crack house. Oh, my God, you mean go to a crack house? You mean go to the bar? Where do you think the lost is, my friend? Where do you think they're at? Ask me that question. I'll tell you they're sitting in buildings acting like they're saved. Do you hear me? One thing you can say about a bona fide sinner, a bona fide sinner don't care to tell you he's a sinner and that he's lost and undone. But a hypocrite and a liar, uh huh, now, now you're getting where we're going, don't you? Now you understand what we're saying tonight. Do you hear me tonight? Now you're understanding where you at in the body of Christ. Where are you with your walk with God? He knows where you're at. You know where you're at, and the devil knows where you're at. And men and women of God know where you're at. The Spirit bears witness one with another. I call an apple tree an apple tree. I call a pear tree a pear tree. I call a lie a lie. I call a hypocrite a hypocrite. I call a sinner a sinner. I call a brother a brother. Do you hear me? I believe you do. What have you done for the kingdom of God? What are you doing for the body of Christ? What are you doing to... Get the gospel out. Thank God for the internet. Thank God for radio. Thank God for TV when it's used right and it's used proper. But look at the people that's being fleeced because they want their ears tickled. Well, I got news for you. The gospel music jukebox is not going to tickle your ears. I'm not going to rub your feet. I'm going to tell you the truth because I love you and I want you to make heaven your home. Those of you that are listening to the program, whether it be live or by way of, of the archive, and you say you're called of God, well, at least you ought to act like it. At least you ought to be seen out in the world. At least you ought to let your light shine through the window. Oh, touch the nerve. It's the truth. It's the truth. Go to church twice a week every t or every time the church doors open. But then you run home, close the door, go to work, talk like hell, live like hell, do anything you want to do. And you wonder why nobody wants to go to church with you. You wonder why nobody's getting saved around you. You wonder why your life is a pure hell and why your wife don't respect you and why your kids don't listen. It's because you are not being the man of God that you need to be. It's because you're not reading the word of God. It's because you're not applying the word of God. It's because you're a liar and the truth is not in you. If you say you love God, you keep the commandments of God. That's the truth. Are you who you say you are? Are you born again, my friend? Are you on your way to heaven or are you on your way to hell? You know where you stand with God. You be assured of this. God's real. He's alive and he lives forevermore. And there is a body of Christ. They are men and women of God, children of God. And we know our enemies. So now I'm going to direct 
this moment toward you, my enemy, that listen in and sit in the shadows. I'm talking to you. You text me on the side. You message me. And you say this or that. And you say, well, you know, I don't know if the Bible, you know, I don't know if you ought to be that hard. I don't know if you, let me tell you something. Jesus said it just like it is. Jesus said it just like it is. Hey, amen. God bless Apostle Clovis there. Hey, praise God. We've got an apostle in the room. Amen. <laughs> my my twin down in right in Mississippi. Uh, but I'm the better looking one. Anyway, let me stay focused. <laughs> I just seen him there. Praise God. Blesses me, man. I can't wait to get down that way. But anyway, let me let me stay focused. Amen. Praise God. I'm talking to my enemy, the devil. You, you you've got nothing. Nothing. You've got nothing. You can't buy me you can't scare me you can't you've got nothing nothing you you've tried everything you see in the name of jesus i put you under my feet and i'm serving notice on the devil on the gospel music jukebox the truth will be proclaimed listen to me satan i'm talking to you in the name of jesus you see, we're madder than hell is hot at you. We're sick of you running rampant in our schools. We're sick of you running rampant in our White House. We're sick of you running rampant in this world like you're somebody when you're nothing because you've been defeated. You are a liar and a father of it. And we, 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 the children of God, we, the body of Christ, will proclaim the gospel. We will tell the world the truth <laughs> that you're nothing. You have been defeated. You are defeated. You are a defeated foe. You are a loser, a liar, and you will burn in hell. So I wrote a song just for you, devil, to give God the glory. Go ahead, devil, bring it on strong. Go ahead, devil, because we've already won. Bath in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, yes, I am. So go ahead, devil. Bring it on strong. You got nothing. Nothing but a pack of lies. You see, you see, nothing but a pack of lies. Because, listen to me, man of God, that's been sitting over there pouting because nobody likes you, that's been sitting over there because you feel alone, because you think nobody cares for you. Well, I got news for you. You're not alone if you're a child of God. You've got a family. I'm talking about a real family. I'm talking about somebody that'll drive thousands of miles to get to you when God says go. I'm talking about somebody that'll get on the phone and somebody that'll pray with you and somebody that'll show up and anoint you with oil. I'm talking about somebody that'll help you pay that light bill. I'm talking about somebody that'll help you pay that hospital bill. I'm talking about somebody that'll put gas in your tank. I'm talking about somebody that will anoint the prayer clause and pray over. I'm talking about somebody that's a doer of the word of God. It's the body of Christ and we're all over the world we are not alone we are a family huh. are you listening so you got to quit pouting you got to get up off that couch of doubt and you've got to grab the plow man and not look back and it's going to start right in your living room you got to sit down and explain to your wife what God's called you to do. You've got to sit down and tell your children who you are. you got to sit down and begin to break the word of God. I'm talking about praying over meals with your family, setting an example, letting your light shine. And not only in your living room, but it's going to roll out your front door and down the street and up the sidewalk. And souls are going to be one and added into the body of Christ. And you're going to meet brothers and sisters that will stand beside you shoulder to shoulder, knee to knee, that will pray one for another. You're not alone. Don't you believe the lie of the enemy? 
Don't you believe the lie of the devil? Now, you're going to be promised many a thing. There are going to be a lot of people say this, say that, but they don't do nothing because they're liars anyway. But you're going to know them by the fruit that they bear. But you're going to be on fire for God because you've been chosen by the Most High. Wow. You're going to absorb yourself in the Word of God, and you're going to paint yourself just get a, just like a sponge soaking up the water from the floor. Man, you're going to soak up the Word of God. So when you open your